Today we're going to be doing a weapon log. It's been a while since I've done a review here on this channel and I wanted to do one about an awesome knife that I love and that you can carry around fairly easily and that is the Karimbit or neck knife, whatever you decide to call it. It's up to you really. Heck, you can call it a raptor claw if you want to. I mean, kind of looks like one. So this knife from MegaKnife.com is a amazing knife to carry with you and an uh, amazing self-defense knife for you to use for a variety of reasons that I'm going to cover. Now first I want to let you guys know what it's actually made out of. Now this knife is made out of C3R13 stainless steel. Now this is the actually the most common steel to be made out of knives and most knives you guys are going to get or see. Uh, or buy for any relatively cheap or affordable price is going to be made out of that steel so just so you know if you're one that hates stainless steel for your knives this won't be the knife for you sorry oh boo -hoo. let me play a sad song for you on the world's smallest violin this is serious however for those of you that don't care because you know when you're in a self-defense situation a knife is still a knife this is excellent for you to use as a self-defense knife and I'll tell you a couple different reasons why I believe that. Now the first reason I'm going to tell you why I think you should use this as a self-defense knife is going to be because you can carry it easily and stealthily. This knife actually comes with a necklace that is long enough for you to stick your head through. I can do it with my hat on so it's, you know, pretty clear. And it hangs right around my abdomen and obviously you can shorten this or lengthen it depending on how big you are but I have this hanging right around my abdomen and underneath my shirt obviously right now it's not under my shirt but you would hold this under your shirts which would allow you to in a tense situation reach underneath your shirt and pull the knife out nice and simply however it also is very thin so having it against your body whether you're, as long as you're wearing you know a shirt <laughs> it won't be visible to people around you so you won't be you know flashing around that you have a giant knife hooked to your pocket or anything like that it'll be hidden underneath your shirt ready to be pulled out quickly whenever you need it now the next reason I believe this is a great knife for you to use is because it is a very intuitive knife for people that don't know how to use objects and use weapons or anything like that but it also has a very high skill level that you can take it to if you so choose if you just want to get this out of the box and carry it without any prior self-defense knowledge you can figure out that your grip is here you hold the knife you punch at people and you swing past that's that's all you got to do bang you got to punch at people that's all you have to do you also have this end up here to just you know stab the other way if you so choose or you can rest your finger on it like i do and have that supported for the slash obviously this is a pretty simple motion if you've ever seen a fight before ever you've seen a hook it, it's just how that is but it also has a high skilling allowing you to not only like you know play with it like that like you see people do online but also be able to hit specific targets very quickly and very accurately either going for above the kneecaps uh, joints in the elbows and even coming around the neck like its name implies a neck knife making it very um, deadly if you put time into using it. It has a high skilling, it has a high skill ceiling, but is fairly relatively easy for people to kind of learn how to use. And lastly, the reason I think it's great for self-defense is because of fear tactics. Now people say fear tactics are stupid to rely on, and yes, they are stupid to rely on 100%. But this knife is a very scary looking weapon and it's also a very dangerous weapon. It's both of those things. So if you have to fight, it's obviously it is going to work for you in those situations. But uh, to keep the fight from happening, anyone that sees this kind of knife automatically assumes 
you're highly skilled, highly trained in some way. This is not the common knife that you would carry around and see someone holding, you know, randomly. Like, this isn't your average knife. Someone with skill usually is seen having these. At least that's what the public opinion is for a knife like this. So, pulling this knife out will instantly uh, make them assume that you have some sort of skill level above them. Now, for this weapon in particular, if you do choose to get this, you will be able to choose silver or a variety of different colors and patterns. You can get a tiger pattern, you can get red, you can get the uh, the magic uh, multicolor knives that are really in right now that I really enjoy. Uh, and it will come with all those kinds of designs and kinds of styles. But one thing you will have to know is that this piece right here is plastic. It's not any type of like soft material that will fit to your hand or anything like that. So keep that in mind. If you're wanting a knife with a more soft grip to it, this is not going to be what you want to do. Although I do personally love this grip because it fits my fingers fairly well. If you have really needy hands or need a grip to kind of uh, soften your, you know, the grip you have on the knife, this isn't going to be the best for you. You can fix that. You can wrap it with tape if you need softer grip. You can use um, tennis tape is one of my favorite things. I wrap tennis tape around my swords and knives to get a nice softer grip to some of them. Uh, but just, just something to think of if you are going to purchase this knife for yourself. Now, obviously, if you want to purchase this knife for yourself, you can check out the links down in the description. Um, if you do end up buying with those links, any purchase you make using my links kind of help me out. So if you want to help out the channel and get yourself a cool Karambit, uh, check it out. Links down there in the description. And if any of that interests you and you want to see other weapon reviews that I've done, definitely check out my playlist I'll leave at the end of this video if you're interested. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out.